All right, hello everyone, it's Team Rocket Dross here with another Pokemon drawing tutorial. And for this video, guys, we're going to be drawing Galarian Ponyta. So as you guys can see on screen, this is how it ends up looking like. So if you guys want to learn how to draw it, then let's get started. I'm also going to put up a reference right now on screen that we see for you guys to draw. And at the same time, you guys can get all your details. Just like my other tutorials, guys, remember to press light on your pencils uh, because we are going to start out by doing a sketch. And then from there on, you guys are going to do your final drawing. And um, yeah, so first of all, we're going to start off with the circle right here, guys. And then we're going to split it in the middle both ways. And just try to get it as perfect as you can because we are going to, uh, the closer that you guys make it to the way I have it here, the easier it is, uh, easier it's going to be to follow the tutorial. Uh, now we're going to extend that line going down the circle, guys. And then we're going to do another line going across uh, under the circle. And these lines are just called reference lines. And they're going to help us do the shape right here, uh, which is going to be the body. So the body, the bottom left, guys, is a little bit thicker than the upper right. So that's one of those things that I want you guys to remember. And uh, there we go. So now that we have that, we, we could actually uh, start off by doing the neck right there. The right side starts um, roughly around the middle right there. We connect it to the middle line going across the circle. And uh, we can now erase that reference line going across. Uh, so now I'm just showing you guys right here that the uh, this hind leg doesn't go lower than the bottom of the of the body so that's one of those things i want you guys to pay attention to um, now for this leg right here it's actually uh, roughly the middle of the neck and uh, this other line is a little bit to the right of the right side of the neck um, it's a little bit confusing but it's just i'm just using reference um, lines to do all this guys so um, as long as you guys get this shape just the way it is right here or as close as you can uh, the rest is going to be easier all right so now for the actual legs the actual legs are roughly the same length as the circle so you guys uh, saw me there using my fingers that's one of those things i like doing it doesn't have to be perfect but it's just a rough like idea of how it should be now for this hind leg right there it should be around the same uh, area as the other one the line like the same level and then this leg actually is going to be a little bit uh, higher than the one on the left or the first one that we did now we're going to do another one we just do the bottom line once again it should be even on all these right here and uh we could just do um this hind leg right there now we could do the rest of the leg and uh, this is going to be a little bit higher than the other ones just because it is further away from us. And um, now for this one over here, this one's around there. So one of the things I want you guys to notice is that not all of the bottom of the legs are like the same. You know what I mean? Like on the same level. Um, and I want right here what I'm pointing out is just that each of the legs should be the same thickness. So the shape of it should be the same thickness. And once we have that, we could actually start by doing the hoofs, I believe they're called, or the feet. And uh, all these shapes right here should be the same uh, size. There we go. So now we're going to start off by doing the ear. And uh, right here, the ear is basically the same level as the top of the circle. So you guys could just do a, a line going across. And then we could start off by doing the other side of the ear uh, right in the middle of the circle. And right here, I'm just looking at it, guys. And it looks a little bit too big for the actual uh, size or the actual head. So I do erase it and I make it a little bit shorter or smaller. Um, there we go and then i just round it off a little bit that way it's not like straight lines now for the horn the horn is basically this like cone shape it's kind of like a triangle with the bottom rounded off so it's around here once we have that we can actually start doing the snout which comes off the middle line right there of the circle and then it kind of like gets pointy right here and it kind of looks like a, a sideways house like the shape of a house with the roof you know uh, that's what I see every time I look at it and now we can do the bottom side of the jaw and that is probably going to be the hardest things to do on the drawing guys so I apologize for that but just uh, practice it and uh, try to look at my reference and try to get it as close as you can to the way I have it here 
Uh, once we have that, we can do these reference lines for the mane. I think that's what it's called, like the hair. And the same thing over here for the tail. These lines are, uh, don't press too hard because this is just an idea of where it's going to go. Like the shape of is what we're trying uh, to do right here. And I do run out of paper, so I apologize for that. You guys are going to have to do the right side of the tail on your own. Uh, and this is basically the shape of the tail. So once we have that guys, let's start on doing the eye. And the eye is almost like this C shape um, going like pointing to the bottom left. Um, so it might take us a couple of tries to do it. But that's why I like doing those reference lines going across the circle. It's just uh, a way for us to like know where to place all this, all these stuff or the eye and, and where the ear comes out, where the snout starts. So it's just like ways to help us. Um, and then it has just a novel shape in the middle of the eye and then one on, on the side, like sideways on the eye. So now right here we could do another reference line for the shape of his hair going around its horn. It gets really close to the eye, but it doesn't touch it. And then right here, I just connect the snout to um, the, the hair. Because it doesn't connect like straight onto um, the circle, guys. And then later on, I do round off the snout a little bit because it is a little bit too sharp. It's too pointy. Um, if you guys look at the reference, it's a little bit more rounded off. Uh, but that was just to, uh, the way I did it, that was just so uh, you guys could get an idea of how it should be. Now for the ear, we're going to do the inside of the ear. And then this line right here goes a little bit into the actual circle. We can just connect it around there. And uh, there we go, guys. So we got the basic shape of Ponyta now. So if you guys have it like here where you guys are happy on your sketch uh, to the way I have it here, um, then the rest is going to be all easy, guys. The rest is all detail. So... Uh, if you guys got this far, then the rest, you guys are basically got it. Uh, it's in the bag. All right, so now for the hair right there, I noticed that it does go over the horn. So we can just do that. Now on this side. And I'm just erasing some of these reference lines, guys, just to get them out of the way. We don't need them no more. For example, right here, the bottom of his head or his face, his jaw, actually goes a little bit more into the circle. Now we can erase some of these reference lines from the actual circle and because uh, we don't need it no more and uh, so far so good guys I like where everything's at so just make any changes to your drawing now like now that we have the overall shape of it uh, now if something doesn't look right it's going to be uh, more like visible on your drawing so just make any changes to your drawing guys um, if this like for example the ear is too big or it's too small the eye is too small too big the snout doesn't look right uh, now's those times to make those changes all right so now for the little cotton candy puffs that he has on the feet um, and uh, there we go it does show a little bit of the hoof that's one of those things that I did um, try to do same thing on this side and uh, one thing that I want to point out guys is that it's not perfect so for example um, if you guys notice that it doesn't like they don't line up the same as the reference um, and that's perfect that's fine guys uh, right here um, the actual like torso is a little bit higher than the overall shape that we did earlier for the body um, and then we could just extend some of the uh, actual leg a little bit higher uh, for example right there in the hind leg look at this line right here that I'm working on it's straight and if you guys look on the reference it kind of like curves a little bit and that's just one of those things that if I curve it on mine like the reference is gonna make my drawing look a little bit weird so that's one of those things that I gotta improvise on my drawing or my sketch to uh, make mine look a little bit better so as long as it looks okay on mine I'm, I'm gonna make those changes on mine you know what I mean it's not gonna look perfect so I want you guys to remember that uh, because I don't want you guys to try to do it exactly the way I have it here because it's never going to work out the same. Like even myself, if I try to draw my tutorial or follow my tutorial on this, I'm not going to get it exactly the same. So I don't want you guys to um, 
go a little bit overboard on it and try to make it exactly the same because it shouldn't be guys uh, one of those things that I, uh, again that I want to mention for example the two puffs on the back on the two back legs look how close they are to each other on my drawing and then if you guys look on the reference they're further apart so I'm not gonna do that on mine just because on mine um, it looks fine just the way it is right there so that I leave it like that so I want you guys to remember that And now that we have that, we could actually come up here and uh, start working on the mane, on the hair on its uh, head. So the only thing that I do want to get on the right spot is just these hairs sticking out um, right there that are kind of like pointing out. Um, it has another one right here, uh, basically right along the ear right there on the same level. And the actual shape that we did earlier, guys, for the, the, the hair... Um, we don't have to follow that a hundred percent. That's just to give us an idea where it should go So I want you guys to remember that and um, now we're gonna do these right here And I'm just trying to place everything roughly on the same level as the reference for example right there that a little bit That's the the hair right there. It's a little bit higher than the puff on its legs If you guys look at the reference roughly where it's at, I think I did mine a little bit lower uh, But it's just fine. That's fine. It doesn't have to be exactly like the reference guys and now for the ones on the tail So don't like I said before the only thing that I'm trying to get um, in the right spot is just these spiky points and uh, one of those areas that I, uh, I kind of do that is right there. I was going to do one of the little spikes right there. But then I looked at the reference and I noticed that it's a little bit higher. So then I do it there. And then I just use, and then I just curve these lines right here. And uh, one of those places that it doesn't come out right is right here, guys. Because this line, it only has one curved line right there from the bottom spike to the, the one that I did earlier. Um, and one of those things that I could have changed, like I leave it right here. I don't round it off as much as it should be. Uh, but one of those things that I could have done is just make that puff, round it off a little bit more. And it could have gone behind the leg. You know what I mean? Or in front of the leg. doesn't matter. Um, it doesn't have to be like the reference. On the reference, it's actually really far away from the leg. Uh, but on mine, just to make it look better, I could have gone over the leg or under the leg. Uh, but I decided just to leave it like this. And uh, yeah, so then once I'm happy with it, I just start erasing some of these reference lines. And I uh, just start working on the actual uh, sketch and then just making any changes. Uh, one of those details that I forgot is right there on the horn. It has the stripe. And uh, yeah, guys, I got my final sketch. So now that you guys have your overall sketch, um, like I said earlier, you're going to notice any mistakes. So something that doesn't look right. Um, for example, right there, I noticed that uh, the actual hair goes over the body a little bit and it covers the uh, the back a little bit. So I do change that. So one of the reasons that I put the references up there is for this specific uh, moment right here. Once we have our overall drawing um, or sketch. So just look at your um, the reference and just look at your drawing, guys, and make anything that any changes necessary. Um, on mine, I work on this now a little bit. And uh, I think that's basically it overall. I'm happy with it, guys. Um, and then I did end up coloring, as you guys see here. I used my Copic markers. Um, I didn't have the exact same colors, but I just did or uh, just used the ones that I, I did have. And then these shadows right here, uh, they're light gray. You're, you're not going to be able to see them on the video um, too really good because it's just uh, the way that I edit the video. Uh, so I do like light it up a little bit and um, yeah so you guys can't see the shadows for like uh, the neck if you guys notice on the reference it's gray um, in two of the legs it's like they're gray on mine it did the same thing but it's a little bit brighter on, on the on the video so you guys are not able to see that um, but that's one of those things that I did add and then for the actual um, uh, markers. I also use color pencils uh, to go over some of the areas and that's what you guys are seeing here like the darker areas and um, and then I use my gel pen uh, to do some highlights in some of the areas if you guys look at the reference it has one on the hair on the forehead it has two little lines and again on the tail it has like two different areas where it has these little highlights uh, so I did that so I'm just using uh, I use the color pencils I just roughly try to use uh, the same color uh, just a little bit darker 
darker and then I just went over like the shadow so um, in the actual video it doesn't look that great right now guys because like I said before I do uh, edit the video a little bit and make it a little bit brighter that way um, it's not dark and you guys are able to see the lines when I color or when I'm drawing so when I add the color it, it just brightens it up a little bit more so it doesn't look that good but trust me guys on the actual like paper it looks really really nice like the colors just are perfect um they're not as bright or the contrast is not as strong as you guys see the colors here uh on the, the color pencil on for example on the pink it's not this strong like it's not that dark compared to the actual um marker so it looks nice on the paper but not on here on the picture on the video so um it's just a way for you guys to see all the areas so the contrast is nice for that um and um yeah so i just outlined it in uh, a pen a black pen and then i added the like these with the gel pen i added these little spots because if you guys look at the eyes probably you guys can't see that on the reference it has these little spots almost like stars so I did add that on the eyes and the ears because that's one of those things that I noticed that it did have. It kind of has this like galaxy feel to it. Um, so that's why I added that and it kind of makes the eye stand out a little bit more as well as the ear. Um, but overall guys, I'm happy with it. For example, on the hooves, on my drawing, they're a dark um, purple and they're like really noticeable that it's purple. And here it's more of a black. It's really, really dark compared to the actual, the way it looks. So that's just a way for you guys to uh, know that this this is not how it ended up looking like a hundred percent but yeah guys let me know in the comment section how he turned out let me know if you guys need any help i'll be uh, happy to make anything oh and one of those things that i noticed that didn't do right guys that makes the drawing look not as great is the actual torso if you guys notice on the front it, it kind of ends at a point and then it goes down to the leg mine the point i did it really low on the actual reference it's a little bit higher more closer to the neck and on mine i did it lower so if we look at the reference that's really really noticeable um and i didn't notice, notice that till now so if you guys are able to make that change please do so um but if you guys are just looking at my drawing uh, without looking at the reference and without really looking at the area you guys wouldn't really uh, notice that it wouldn't be like a problem you know so that's that's one of those things like i said uh, your drawing is going to be your drawing it's not going to be exactly like the reference and it's not going to be exactly like mine so feel free to um make any changes to your drawing just so your drawing can look good uh but yeah guys so i think that's gonna be it for this episode or this video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more videos and i guess i'll just catch you guys on the next one team rocket draws out